first grade and welcome to your first phonics paper today. You're gonna love this. Let's see um, what it's wanting us to do. Where's my little pointer? I'll get a pencil. So it says a new word. Illustrate each phrase. Because remember pH says F. Illustrate each phrase. Hey, that's gonna be fun. You guys know what illustrate means. It means you draw a picture of something. Well, and the other good news is you guys love my drawings and you never laugh at them and you never think they look goofy. You guys think I'm an amazing artiste, so I'm very excited to dazzle you again with my gorgeous drawing. Let's see what this one says to do. A sleepy kit. T. See Uncle Short? A sleepy kitty. Okay, well, I can illustrate a sleepy kitty. You illustrate along with me and just be dazzled by my gorgeous artistic ability. Look at that tail, it's so lifelike. Looks like it's jumping right off the screen at you, doesn't it? Now let's see, I gotta make him look sleepy. I'm gonna put some Z's. Give him some stripes. Oh no, he looks like a raccoon. Oh well. Okay, now for his sleepy eyes. There's my sleepy kitty. Don't you dare laugh at my sleepy kitty. I told you my artwork is dazzling. Okay, if you need more time on the sleepy kitty, pause it. Let's go to this one. Hmm. Orange and brown cookies. And the k, uh, 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 is short o, oh, o. Oh. Orange and brown cookies. Okay, let's draw them together. You get started on yours. I'm going to draw mine. I think I'm going to take a bite out of this guy. Chomp. But I won't take a bite out of him or him. Look at these gorgeous cookies. The reason they're all different sizes is they're homemade, fresh out of the oven. Do I have brown? Yes, I do. Make sure you're doing orange and brown cookies with me. I'm gonna give my brown, I'm gonna let that be chocolate chips. Oh my, I just ate some of this one right here. Fabulous. It is so tasty. Mmm, tasty, tasty. Are you done with your cookies? Well, if you are not done with your cookies, no big deal, push pause. Alrighty, what do we have here? This says yellow, that's a hard word. Let's see if we can follow our rules. Long A, silent I. Days, E's, daisies. I, E, S is what comes when um, you drop the Y and add I, E, S. Do you remember that little poem? So this is how you spell daisy. D, A, I, S, Y. But when you wanna say daisies, Drop the Y and add I, E, S. So you just take these three letters and you just plug them back in. Or actually, you don't even have to do the I because it's already there. Daisies. So now, oops, I forgot the I. Daisies. But now we have to draw yellow daisies. So I think I'll give it some little stems. I can hear McKinley in the other room doing her learning videos. She doesn't want me to teach her. Did you know that? She only wants to listen to me teach her on the iPad from our learning videos. The kid is a maniac. Okay, so we got yellow daisies, orange centers. I'm gonna do yellow. 
Oh my word, these daisies look so lifelike. Do you feel like you're looking at real pictures of daisies when you look at my artwork? Oh my word. <laughs> Let's slide across. Remember, push pause if you need to. Okay, let's see what this guy says. Red and what's that color? Green. Red and green what? Hmm. I see ND, so that's Uncle Short. Canned, canned what? Candies, because look at the word candy. If Would you rather have one piece of candy like this or candies? I think I know your answer. You'd rather have a lot of candies. So you drop the Y and you just write C-A-N-D, toodaloo Y, see you later, canned, I-E-S, candies. So we gotta draw red and green ones. All right. Here's one candy. You hear Mick singing along with those learning videos? Okay, so we got green and some red. No, those are not bats or birds. Those are my candies. I'll make lollipops. Oh my word. That kid needs to turn down those learning videos. All right, you like my red and green candies? All done? Okay, let's go down here. Push pause if you need to. What does this say? A happy lady. Oh, I know who I'm gonna draw. I'm gonna draw myself. I'm a very happy lady because I have the best job in the world. I get to teach children. I'm gonna give myself some high heels. So we gotta draw a happy lady, not a grumpy one. Oh my mercy, that would not be fun. But a happy lady is fun. There's a smile. I guess she should be waving. Now I'm gonna warn you, this looks just like me. So you're probably gonna at the end of this go, oh my word, that's Miss Parnell. I feel like I'm looking right at Miss Parnell. This might jump off the page in authenticity. And let's give some hair. A happy lady, that's me, Miss Parnell. Good thing is you don't know my first name because that is classified. None of you know my name. It's just Miss Parnell to you. Maybe your happy lady that you're gonna draw is your mom, maybe your nana or your grandma. Doesn't matter who. Okay, what are we on to next? Remember, push pause if you need to. Brown, brown bunnies. The reason I know this is short you is because it has two ends. That's Uncle Short. So when you say the word bunny, it's B-U-N-N-Y. But you gotta drop the Y when you wanna make it plural and add I-E-S. So it's gonna be bun ease bunnies. What would you rather have, a brown bunny or brown bunnies? What would you rather have? If you're an animal lover, you would say, oh, I want a bunch of bunnies. But if you're like, eh, I'll just take one, then you would just want a bunny. Now, are you ready for my gorgeous artwork? Do, 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 do. Oh my word, if that doesn't look like a bunny. Isn't that so authentic? Let's see, should I, I'll give him teeth. Look at my brown bunny. He needs big feet like Thumper. And where do bunny's arms go? Let's give him a cottontail. I don't know what he's doing. Is he boinging? Boinging sideways? And there's his little arms. Oh my word. But is this what it told me to do? Brown bunny? No, this is just one bunny. 
I can't. I have to do more. So, lucky for you, I get to draw more gorgeous drawings. I'm going to draw this one's ears floppy. Oh, no, now it looks like a dog. Don't you dare say that this looks like a dog. Don't you say it. Don't you dare. <laughs> it does look like a dog with fangs. <laughs> oh, well. We're just going to pretend this is a bunny. You understand me? Stop laughing. Stop laughing at my gorgeous bunny. So now I turned it from a bunny into two bun, I-E-S, bunnies. Because if it's just one, it's one bunny. But if it's more than one, if it's two or plus more, it's bun ease. Aren't you glad I'm your teacher and I can draw like that? <laughs> oh boy. I can hear you guys right now and you're not saying the nicest things about my drawings. Now push pause if you're still being an illustrator. If you're done being an illustrator, turn to the box with me. Aww, now that looks like a good puppy and kitty cat, doesn't it? Somebody practiced and never gave up. They kept drawing and drawing even when it was hard. That tells me someone is practicing. Never give up. Look, I'm 41 and look at how well I draw. That could be you one day. Think about it. In like 32 years, you could draw this well. You could be so lucky. <laughs> okay, let's see what this says. It says, color each note the correct color. Well, what are our colors? As in cat or s as in scent. Remember, soft C goes with Y, I, E. Hard C goes with the other three. Okay, so if it's a hard C, we're going to do red. Soft C, we're going to do b -b blue. So let me get my crayons and let's check her out. So we have C-U-T-E. I see marker E, so that means this is long and this is silent. It's either going to be cute or cute. What do you think it's going to be? Cute. What um, would it go with for a hard C? What color? Red. So, c -c 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 cute needs to be colored red. Very good. Okay. Now, look at the next word. It could, it's got a marker E in it. So, long and silent. It's either going to be k kider or s cider. Cider. And what color does soft C go with? Blue. So let's go ahead and do this guy blue. S -s 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 cider. Cute had a hard C. Cider has a soft C. Hmm, this one could be a toughie. This one could be a toughie. Could be, A-U says aw. Remember, A-U and A-W say aw, 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 aw. So do you think it is saws or k-cause? Mm-hmm, cause. There's no such thing as saws. So we're gonna do cause with what color? Red, because it's hard. Mick, you can come in. What you need? Why? What's wrong with your iPad? I'm trying to record. You little kookaloops. Did you do your phonics video? I forgot and I have no clue. A cuckoo, we are so very busy coloring gorgeous. Mick, come here. 
You're not gonna believe how gorgeous this coloring is. Look what I drew. Look at my bunnies. Aren't they gorgeous? What do you think of them? Hey! That one looks better than the other one. Why? I mean, like, look at that teeth. It looks horrible, but that one's better than that what? one. What? That is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. And are you eating my multivitamin gummy? Pop. Those are for... Class, class. Tell my mom that these say my name on them. Yeah, but those are and not as manipulatives. Me. Well, I just ate two of them. <gasps> okay, come here. I'll help you get on your lesson. Because you don't like me teaching you. You I... like this teaching you. Okay, you better go. Go do your work. Run. Okay, so. Mick, come close my door. Sorry, guys. Now, I'm getting a little too comfortable with homeschooling, aren't I? She did not close the door. Mick! Mick! Yes, come close the door. Okay, what do you guys think this could be? K Ooh. Or cool. Cool. Like that is super cool. What do you think? You the... know you're making me Miss Bonics, right? <laughs> I'm not making that kid Miss Bonics. She forgot to close the door so I could film our lesson. Cuck, 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 cool. Should that be cuck, 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 cat or s -s -s scent? Cuck, 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 cool. Very good. Should be red. C -c 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 cool, not Sewell. Sewell isn't a word. Okay, now let's look at this next one. Oh, I see double agent, double agent, double agent, agent Y. He can say all kinds of crazy things. He can say E, I, Y. But in this case, he's going to say a long I. Do you think it's going to be keikle or cycle? Yeah, it's going to be s-s-s-cycle. What color do you think? Blue for soft C. If we did red, we would be saying that it said keikle. Keikle is not a word, but cycle, well, that is a word. Very good. I don't have phonics. Bring it iPad back here. What do you mean you don't have phonics? They're doing, you're doing phonics on the video and I've looked through all my papers and there's no phonics. I bet you're on Monday. Run it to me. Okay, let's check this one. I think she got on the wrong Moodle day. She does that sometimes. Okay, so we've got, this could either be sage or cage. What do you think it's going to be? Sage or cage? Yeah, it's going to be ca 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 cage. So what I need you to do is come and McKinley, you are on the wrong. Well, you were you, the... You're on Friday. Oh. Okay, come here, Mick. Color cage red for me because it's a hard while I get you set up. Color cage red for me because it's a hard C. You're in last week Friday. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, what's that word, Mick? Cage. All right, read me this next word while I get you set up. Oi, O-I says oi, oi, oi. Boy. Boik or voice? Voice. All right, we'll get working. Is that a hard C or a soft C? So, I don't know what paper you're doing. Okay, voice. Is that k like cat or s like scent? Scent. Okay, so blue. The C is disappearing. No more C. Okay. So it's beast. It's beast. Did you do the butterfly? Okay. Did you do both phonics worksheets? I did butterfly. Okay. So now you're on to math. Did you do all the math videos? No, ma'am. <laughs> all right. Here you go. All right. Let's go to the next one. We have pen, coal, 
pull the door shut or pen soul. Oh my word, that kid. Is it penkel or pen soul? Yes, it would be pen soul. So it would be saucy. Pen soul. Not penkel. You wouldn't say, can I have a new penkel? No, pencil. Okay, let's go down to this one. This one could either be Samp or Camp. Which color do you think we should do for, do you think it's Samp or Camp? Camp, so should it be Hard C or Soft C? Hard C, because it's c, c, c camp So, color it red. And I forgot, you guys love a pattern. I see a couple of patterns, check them out. Red, blue, red, red, blue, red. There's one pattern. Do you see another pattern? Blue, 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 red, red, red. Yeah. Let's go down to this one and see the directions, what they say. Push pause if you need more time. Follow the directions for finishing the picture below. So we've got this picture. Let's see what the directions say to do. So the first direction says, color the dog brown. Well, okay, we can do that. Get out your cute little brown and color that papito. Probably would look a lot better with crayons, but somebody with a little red head took my crayons. You know who that is? The cuckoo. She was mentioning something about needing them for school. Very high maintenance, that kid. Okay, let's read this one. Color the cat yellow. Hmm. Color the cat yellow. Oh. Well, there she is. She is going to be a yellow cat. Okay, let's see what the next direction says. A-W says ah. Dr ah. A. O-U says ow. Mouse. To the G-H. G-H. It means long eye. Right. Of the cat. Let's read that again. Draw a mouse to the right of the cat. Well, how am I supposed to know which my right is? Ooh, I remember. It's the hand that I write with. Now, I write with this hand. Some of you are lefties. So you're going to have to think of your right hand as the opposite of what you write with. But a lot of kids write with their right hand, which is this hand. So... Would it be on this side of the cat or this side for my right hand? Yeah, it would be on this side. So I'm gonna draw a mouse. Caution, I am a very good artist. Let's see, where would his ears go? Four words, right? Does that look like a mouse? <laughs> squeak, squeak. Of course it looks like a mouse. So he would have to go to the right of the cat, which would be this side. If I did it over here, that would be the left of the cat. It has to be the right of the cat. Hmm, wonder what our next direction is. Let's, hang on, let me put this marker away. And let's see, this one says, draw, C-A-W, draw a bone to the left of the dog. Well, my left hand makes an L. See that? L. Left hand L. Is this the left of the dog or is this side the left of the dog? Yeah, it's this side over here. So I'm going to draw him a nice tasty bone. Here you go, little fella. Don't let your dogs run by this bone. They might think it's real. It's so authentic looking. 
And our last direction says color the grass green and the sky blue. Well, since somebody I know took my crayons, I'm not gonna do that part with you, but you need to color the grass green and the sky blue. You hear me? You better do it or you're in big trouble. I'm just kidding. Well, good job on this phonics paper. I'll see you on the next.